before we expose our Lord and the Blessed Sacrament, just a little introduction into the Flame of Love Rosary. The Flame of Love is a Marian movement initiated by our Blessed Mother herself through a humble Hungarian woman uh, who received messages from Jesus and Mary beginning in 1962, I believe, and she passed away in 1988. And the, some of the unique features of these prayers that you're gonna see when we begin the rosary, we begin with making the sign of the cross five times while thinking of uh, uniting ourselves to the five wounds of Jesus. And Hungary, where Elizabeth was from, is very close to the Eastern Christian world, where whenever they enter their church, they also do the sign of the cross uh, at least three times, if not five, when, before the icons. And so we sign ourselves three times, with this, five times with the sign of the cross, uniting ourselves to the five wounds of Jesus. And Jesus told Elizabeth that from all of her with all of her spiritual battles, she would conquer in the sign of the cross. When you make the cross, think of the three divine persons. Make the sign of the cross five times while thinking of my five wounds. Always look at my eyes, bathe in blood, tell everyone all that I tell you. The second unique prayer from the Flame of Love devotion is what's called the unity prayer. And the unity prayer means union, emphasizes union with Christ. So that's, that's the emphasis of unity prayer. And it's all a, an expression of transforming union with Jesus, where our humanity is infused, intermingled, mixed, uh, and perfectly united with Christ's divinity. Jesus said to her, through this prayer, Satan will be blind and souls will be not led into sin. The Lord explained, Satan being blind signifies a worldwide triumph of my sacred heart, the freedom of souls and a full opening of the road of salvation. The third unique part of the prayer that you'll, that is the most prominent and sometimes for the, first, uh, for the first time, when people first are introduced to it, it can be, at, in a sense, the most disconcerting because it's in, what our Blessed Mother asked was that this petition be put in the Hail Mary. And after his praying, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Mary herself asked through Elizabeth, and which has been confirmed by uh, the authorities of the church and the bishops, her local bishop, and many other, um, the official church has, has stamped seal of approval on all of these messages. And our Blessed Mother asks that the prayer be inserted, spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. And that can be really now and then now and at the hour of our death. Because we're so used to praying the Hail Mary, uh, that can be difficult to learn at the beginning. And in terms, it's, in terms of um, any distrust or discomfort with that, um, know that it's something that our Blessed Mother asked by a message that's been approved. And so it's not in any way a desecration or a taking liberties with an ancient prayer that is so sacred, but it's our Blessed Mother asking this for the sake of what she wants to do in the world in respects to the triumph of the Sacred Heart in the times that we're going through, uh, where she refers to as the final or greatest context, talk context uh, battle between, between Christ and Satan. And so this prayer, she says, actually this is Elizabeth, and her diary says, for a long time, I did not dare to record Our Lady's petition. In the beginning, she was also uncomfortable with it. When you pray the Hail Mary, include the following petition, says Mary. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. When the bishop asked why this should be done, 
Jesus explained, because of the Virgin, the Holy Virgin's efficacious pleas, the Most Holy Trinity granted the outpouring of the flame of love. For her sake, you must place in this prayer, you must place this prayer in the Hail Mary. Mary said, I want to awaken humanity by this petition. This is not a new formula, but a constant supplication. So that's just a brief introduction. What we'll do in praying the Hail Marys is you'll pray the first part, and I will lead the second part, and anyone else who's already familiar with this can also do so. Um, and I think Yvonne was handing out prayer cards, uh, and if you have, if you're able to see it, or if you have a cell phone with a flashlight that you may need to use. Otherwise, I can just be leading the second part since it might be unfamiliar to many of you. And so we pray for this Pentecost of the heart of Mary to happen in us for Jesus' glory. Amen. O salutare sostia, que celitandi sostiu, bella premunt hostia. Oh. Uh -huh. 
before the rosary, let us pray a prayer of thanksgiving after Mass. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for though we are sinners and your unprofitable servants, you have fed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. You did this not because we deserved it, but because you are kind and merciful. I pray that this holy communion may not add to our guilt and punishment, but may lead us to forgiveness and salvation. May it be for us the armor of faith and the shield of good will. May it purify us from evil ways and put an end to our base passions. May it bring us charity and patience, humility and obedience, and may it strengthen our power to do every kind of good. May it be a strong defense against the deceit of all our enemies, visible and invisible. May it calm perfectly all our evil impulses, bodily and spiritual. May it unite more, may it unite us more closely to you, the one true God. May it bring us full possession of the goal we are longing for. And I pray that you will lead us, sinners, to the magnificent banquet where you with your Son and the Holy Spirit are for all your saints the true light, total fulfillment, everlasting joy, gladness without end, exquisite delight, and most perfect happiness. Grant this through Christ our Lord. In silence, let us present our petitions at the foot of the cross, at the throne of grace. We pray for priests, the dying, souls in purgatory, families, the unborn, and our personal petitions. May the Holy Spirit give us the gift of intercessory prayer to recall to our minds all those who have asked us to pray for them and to unite our hearts in the Holy Spirit in praying for them for an outpouring of grace through Mary. We, are, we offer ourselves to the Heavenly Father through all the wounds of our Savior Jesus Christ. We kiss the wound of your sacred left hand with sorrow deep and true in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We make the sign of the cross in uniting ourselves to each of Jesus' five wounds. We kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. We kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. We kiss the wound of your sacred right foot with sorrow deep and true. And we kiss the wound of your sacred side, your sacred heart, with sorrow deep and true. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Communion of saints, forgiveness. For God's plan and purpose for peace in the world through the triumph of the sacred heart of Jesus, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase in faith, hope, and love, in union with God, the Most Holy Trinity, through Mary. And then we'll begin now. We'll pray the whole Hail Mary together on these first three Hail Marys, including the insertion of the flame of love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. world. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Our Blessed Mother said to Elizabeth Kindleman, we are now entering the final battle against Satan. I, the beautiful ray of dawn, will fight against the prince of darkness. The first joyful mystery. Let's pray the sorrowful mysteries in reparation. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden, Mother Teresa of Calcutta had the insight to see that Jesus suffered more in his agony in the garden than he did physically on Calvary. 
spiritual suffering, internal suffering, is often more acute than physical. Granted, our Lord's sufferings on the cross were excruciating physically, but the worst suffering of the cross was not what he suffered in his body, but in his spirit, in his, rather, in his soul. And our Lord had a foretaste of that in the garden when he felt a locking away from God's holy will and doing anything that would be displeasing to him. And in reparation for those in our families, those who have been commended to our prayers, who don't have this solicitude that through prayer of reparation and the intercession of Mary, Satan may be blinded and that they may receive the graces that they need to know God's will and have the courage to carry it out. To If you could begin the Hail Mary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace, thy flame of love, over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine happiness. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power of the flame of love, of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady cries, begs, prays and asks for prayers, sacrifices, holy hours in the family, fasts, to help her in this fight against evil, and our instruments to bring about the powerful work of salvation is simply prayer and sacrifice. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging, our Lord's flagellation was so horrifically brutal as can be witnessed to through the revelations of blessed Can, uh, and Catherine Emmerich and many others like her. We pray f we may have the desire and the f trust that whenever we're experiencing struggle, mortification, s strain, stress, whatever be the affliction, when we unite it to Jesus, even if we don't feel the effect and significance of making that offering, that in union with his passion and shed blood, that we may have the confidence to know that our suffering and sacrifice when united to His never is wasted. It is always used for a great good beyond our understanding. And so we pray for this openness to embrace the pain whenever we experience it, whenever it comes into our lives to embrace it in union with Jesus and to trust that through this shedding of his blood, through our self-emptying, we'll also usher in a pouring out of the Spirit, a greater sharing in the life of grace, not only for ourselves, but also for those whom God unites to us, puts in our lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Continue. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And 
blessed is the fruit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace, thy flame of love, over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Ave, Ave, Ave. Jesus said to Elizabeth Kindleman, the brightness of Mary's flame of love, by the effusion of its effect of grace, will be passed on to souls in this dark night of the world in which Satan wishes to unleash a hurricane of hatred and moral confusion in order to destroy the faith and confidence of the elect. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. This too was a fierce, piercing pain that our blessed Lord suffered throughout the crown of his scalp in which most likely three inch thorns penetrated deep into his skull. We pray for all those who suffer from, from discouragement, persecution, misunderstanding, rejection, humiliation, feeling unwanted, and mental illness. for the courage to unite one's sufferings to Jesus and to trust that our crown of thorns also, when united to his, will be exchanged for a crown of glory, for healing, for health, for holiness, in living Christ, Christ's way, truth and life, at whatever cost. And above all, we pray for humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace, thy flame of love, over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate 
heart of Mary. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Let this flame go from heart to heart. This is the miracle becoming the blaze whose dazzling light will blind Satan. The effect of grace of the flame of the Holy Spirit's love, which burns most brightly within Mary, blinds Satan, that is. It causes him to lose power over persons and situations, which allows people to respond to God's graces. Souls will not be blocked from grace and will not be led into sin. And its secondary goal is to release souls from purgatory. This fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross, our Lord Jesus exhibits extreme determined determination and patient endurance to arrive at the top of the mountain and to finish the mission for which he was sent and to allow nothing to get in the way. We pray for perseverance in carrying our cross, which is the instrument for our transformation in the flame of God's perfect love, in the glory of his life. We also pray in reparation for all the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences towards the holiness of God's love and light, especially on this Halloween night. in reparation to Jesus for all of the wicked things that he sees happening, that we may console and comfort him, and that we may be true friends to the end. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace over all of humanity. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, let's pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace, thy flame of love over all of humanity. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Ave, Ave, Ave. Our Lady's promise. With this flame, you will light all hearts in the world. This flame will become a fire, and with its shining light, this fire will blind Satan. Till now, nothing could blind Satan as much, and it is up to you not to reject my flame of love, for this rejection would simply 
spell disaster. The promise of the flame of love is the worldwide triumph of my sacred heart, says Jesus. The freedom of souls and a full opening of the road of salvation. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. There's a passage in the Catechism of the Catholic Church when speaking about the end times, says that the church being the body of Christ and another image for her being the bride of Christ, and that the body of Christ would imitate its head in its earthly journey towards the heavenly Jerusalem. Thus, the church itself would undergo its own passion. And that would lead, at the same time, to the, this universal triumph of the Sacred Heart that is being promised a full opening of the road of salvation. We pray for perseverance, that we may take a refuge in the flame of love of Mary's Immaculate Heart, which Jesus says is to our generation what Noah's Ark was to his generation. May our lives be totally transformed in the fire of God's love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. For us sinners, spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Especially those in most need. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by means of the power of the flame of love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we pray the unity prayer. My adorable Jesus, 
May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. My adorable Jesus, we ask you to take us in spirit to your sacred heart that we may be perfectly one with your Eucharistic presence here and throughout the whole world. Blessed Lady, take us and place us where we belong in the divine fire. Share with us your immaculate conception. Prayer to St. Joseph. O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking ruin of souls. Let us now pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis and Pope Benedict XVI, our Pope Emeritus, and for the grace to receive a plenary indulgence through our prayer of the Rosary before the Blessed Sacrament. And we offer whatever graces we can receive from the Church through the merits of the saints in union with Jesus, we give this, these treasures to Mary especially to assist the poor souls in purgatory. Let us pray in silence, and our, one our Father, hail Mary and glory be. We conclude this rosary in the way we began, making the sign of the cross five times, uniting ourselves to the five wounds of Jesus. I call your attention to the most important sacred liturgy in the church's year, the Easter Vigil, where we begin by the fire. And the first thing that we do to prepare for the resurrection is we bless the fire 
representing the flame of God's divine love. And then we bless the Easter candle where the fire will be lit. And from that Easter candle, which represents the resurrection of Christ, all people who come to worship at the altar receive that same fire of love from the risen Lord. And when that Easter candle is being blessed, the priest prays through the five pieces of incense. He places five pieces of incense representing the five wounds in the shape of a cross. And while doing so, he prays, by his most holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord guard us and keep us. We kiss the wound of your sacred left hand with sorrow deep and true. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We kiss the wound of your sacred right foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We kiss the wound of your sacred side, your sacred heart, with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And now before benediction, let us take 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes of just silent prayer. You're welcome to sit if you choose, if you would like. And the word the prayer that I would give you, that I would offer you as a prayer of the heart that can help to keep your faith focused on the face of God is simply the prayer, my adored Jesus, I love you. And you can pray that in your inner heart and allow that to sink deep in and to bring you to a place of stillness in God's grace and embrace and to allow the peace of his flame of love to pour upon you renewed strength in faith, hope, and love.
Jesus Christ, you have given us this sacrament in remembrance of your suffering and death. May our worship of this, your, of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Oh my God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in all the tabernacles and all the altars throughout the world in reparation for all the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of you the conversion of poor sinners 
of blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Most Holy Trinity, be upon you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
Thank you one and all. Thank you so much for staying. Have a blessed night. God bless you.